anyway, so I was riding to work the other day, and I had a thought about making a Chris Angel video, but the music is going to be Abracadabra by Steve Miller Band. Okay. And I was like, all right, that's going to be, like, really cool. I, I have to find some way to, like, you know, make that to where, you know, it's going to copyright or anything like that and do something cool. Well, so I went home. I got home from work Friday, very beginning of the weekend, and I looked up Chris Angel on YouTube, trying to find some content to make video with. Well, they recently, like, early 2020, just uploaded, like, almost every episode of Chris Angel, Mind Freak. And I was like, okay, like, that's kind of weird. Like, it's funny that, you know, I just, like, looked that up, and it just recently they are like, throwing that on YouTube. But he, like, this, he mind-freaked me without even me know. You know what I'm saying? He mind-freaked me to look him up. He's he's freaking yeah. demon. I, don't, I can't explain it. But that's, that's going to lead to my next point. So I'm watching the show, and I'm like, yeah, I remember as a kid watching this, and this was like, okay, this is insane. I was like, this is about to be so cheesy and stupid. I watched his little, like, intro when he's, like, singing. And I was like, okay, you know, you got to respect him. Good shit. He's, he's, he's working. Cool. Good for him. And then he does some stuff. And I'm like, all right, well, that's, I see that. I understand how you did that, Chris. You're not fooling me at all. But then something else will happen. And I'm like, all right, well, that's probably, like, a camera trick. Like, that's probably what that is. You know, he didn't do nothing cool. And then, like by the end of the episode, I'm just like, bro, like I, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what happened. Like, like some of the dude, all right, so like, I know you, Bruce. You're like, do you believe it? Like, no, I don't fucking believe it. But the problem is, is like, the way it's filmed and stuff is like, I don't know how they did it. It don't make. And all right, and I looked into this, so I was thinking, I, this has been on my mind for like four days because I spent all weekend. I watched a total of probably six hours of Chris Angel footage this weekend. So, I'm on... That, that's where I'm at. <clears throat> well... I, the dude walked down the side of a building, bro. <laughs> like, how... Like, what the fuck, dude? He's not God. Like, how... That don't make... I don't get it. And I'm sitting there just like, that's not real. There's, that's not real. There's no way, and then I'm just watching it like, dude, what in the fuck is going on right now? Oh, this is not real. This cannot be real, what I'm looking at. And then I started thinking, I was like, well, he does these like live performances. Like, he did this performance. It was unfucking believable Like, mind freaked the hell out of me. Well, <clears throat> he does this performance where he lights himself on fire. And he's in the, he's like in the middle of the strip of Vegas and he's got these barricades set around him and he's got hundreds of people surrounding him. He's got all these people surrounding him and he's like, alright, yeah, I'm going to do this live in front of an audience, you know, everything I do is real. And he's like saying all this shit. Well, then he gets set on fire and then he like kind of falls down on a piece of plywood and then you see like four people come in with fire extinguishers putting him out. Well, then you just see like empty clothes and he's a dude he's the guy with the fire extinguisher and it's like what no <laughs> like there's no fucking way that's real but at the same time like that dude had credibility he like how did how did all those people how, did, how come like how did not one of all those people who witnessed that not like post something on the internet and be like dude this guy's a fucking phony I was there I seen it he like camera swapped. He did all this. It was all fake. But the it's dude paid had actors. Yeah. What if like that guy was fake? But there was like hundreds of people like all over the place. He's like, dude, like you know how I many people that is in movies like they get for like extras and stuff. Oh yeah, that's true. I mean, think, think of all the uh, conspiracy theories that go on, dude. But dude, still, even so, yeah, like, even so, like some of the shit. I watch it's funny. Like, there's a scene where he's, like, asking these guys. He's like, hey, so, where are you guys from? And they, like, all look at each other. And this one guy's like, uh, Texas. And then the other guys, they're like, yeah, we're from Texas. And I'm like, yeah, they're fucking this up for Chris, like, so bad right now. And then Chris is like, all right, you know, can I borrow this lady who's in your group? And, like, grabs their towel. I was like, yeah, he don't want nothing to fucking do with y'all. Y'all don't fuck this whole take up for him. 
He all he asked was where y'all are from, and y'all couldn't even follow the script. Like y'all are doing, y'all are not doing it good. But then he makes this bitch like disappear, and, and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like I I don't know what to think. I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, well you know this is obviously acting. This is bullshit. And there's all this stuff that I see that it's like, all right, this is bullshit. Like, clear as day. And then he'll do something, and I'm like, oh, God, he fucking got me, bro. Like, I don't know. I can't explain that one. I don't know how you did it. A magician never reveals his secrets. And he's always talking. He's like, yeah, these illusions. I'm like, no, bro, it ain't an illusion. You walking down a fuck the side of a fucking building. That's not an <laughs> illusion, bro. Do you... You're a demonic. Dude, it's, you're a yeah, Satanist. Pretty, you're you're evil. Yeah. You have power from yeah. Satan, and you are walking down the side of a fifty-story fucking hotel. There ain't no illu- there's no illusion. You can't do it. You can't put a mirror trick and fool people with that. That's that's real Dude. shit, bro. Like how how you Dude. fake that? How you do you fake you that? Heard, Explain have, this have to me. Heard of wires. Yeah, I've heard of wires, but like, dude, there's some shit on there. It's like, dude, it's unexplainable. I ain't bullshit, man. Like, it's it's crazy, bro. Tanner. But like, don't act like I'm stupid. Like, oh, you believe what you see? Like, no, I know the shit's fake. I know it's fake. But even thinking about how to make that look that way, even with being fake, I can't figure it out. I'm like, dude. How? There's no way he did that. I don't believe it. I don't, there's no way. He's a freaking little mind freaker, bro. Like, dude, what is funny is the video when he's like talking to his buddy about like hitting him with a car. And he's like, we're playing this game of chicken. My friend's not going to hit me with a car. I know he's not going to. And sure enough, that motherfucker did. He smoked his ass through a wall with a car. And then Chris is, like, laying under the car. And they're like, oh, my God, Chris, you okay? And he, like, stands up. And he's like, I'm okay. And it's like, okay, I don't really get, like, the magic. Like, yeah, you should have been hurt. I get that. Like, you defied logic right there. But at the same time, like, that's not very magical. That's not a really, like, magic trick. Like, this right here, he, like, lifts a car off the ground. Like, like don't get me wrong, that's impressive. If I walked around the corner and seen a dude picking the front end of a taxi up, I'd be like, hey, you know, bravo. But... That's not, like, this dude's walking down the side of a fucking hotel, and now he's picking a car up. Like, dude, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Like, what are you talking about? There's no way. Hey, uh, Tanner, have you ever heard of reality TV? Yeah, I do. Man, I get I understand, but... What I'm saying is, I don't even know how they fake it. I don't understand how it's even faked. I, I can't thing. figure it out. I can't. I can't. But dude, this is from like 2002, bro. Like you would see that shit. Would you? Yeah, I think. Like, bro. <laughs> but this motherfucker, he's walking down the side of a hotel. He's walking up a building with a damn umbrella as a cane right now. I'm looking at have it. You, he's doing have you it. Ever heard of the um, the the Hollywood setup towns? <clears throat> Yeah, I, dude, don't act, don't, y'all don't act like that I'm just so <laughs> stupid. No, no, you mean I'm to tell me you have it. never, like, came across a, a magic trick and it's like, dude, there's no way, that's not even possible. That's not even yeah. possible. It well, was on TV, yeah, a lot of times. I've seen, like, the Avengers fight this, like, purple dude that looks vaguely like Josh Brolin. <laughs> But dude, like, st- like I'm not gonna lie, man. Some people got some shit, and this is why I believe. This is kind of like this is like territory of like if you believe in a ghost or not. Take the fucking wall. No, it is not. It is, dude. Okay, so this guy I went to school with was actually very good at magic. He was very good at it. His name was Hunter Bell, and he like one time he was in. Every time I seen him, I he, I acted like he was fucking Chris Angel. I was like, hey man, show me a trick. Like every time I seen him. Because he did one trick in front of me one time, and every time I seen him, I was like, dude, you gotta show me a trick. And, like, as we went through high school, he just got better and better, and he was fucking amazing. Well, he had this leather jacket, and he, like, handed it to me. He was like, yeah, check out the jacket, you know, check it out, all this stuff. And I was like, all right, man. And I had the jacket, and I'm sitting there, like, skeptical. Like, I'm like, there's no way you're about to do anything cool to me. You know, fuck you. There's no way you're about to do some Chris Angel mind-fucking on me. There's, you're not going to do it. 
So I'm sitting there like inspecting every little aspect of this dude's trick. And he hands me this jacket. He's like, check the jacket out, man. And I'm like crushing it up. I'm checking it. There ain't shit in it. And he had, I swear to God, dude, I swear to God, this is what happened. He, he had me put the jacket on a desk. And then when he took it off, there was an apple on the desk. How? How? Explain that to me. He had the apple in his other hand. Dude, I watched him the whole fucking time, though. That's my thing. It ain't like, oh, well, he put, Tanner put, Tanner put the jacket down, and Tanner's so fucking stupid, he was looking around the room and didn't notice him doing it. Like, no, bro, I am analyzing every detail of what this guy is doing to catch but him on anything. That's the trick. But how? I, that, that, he, that doesn't make sense to me. That's enough. that's not good enough. Nope. He had you pay attention no, no, to one he, thing. So yeah, much. he's good he enough and had you pay yeah. attention to something else. It's yeah, like the I, you know. It's like the government. All right, well, explain this. Hey, explain this. Oh my god. And I, I know you're gonna say, "Oh, because you're fat." That's why he thought that. But no, listen to this. <laughs> we were at, do no. This is a completely different <laughs> story. That, listen, it listen. This this is this relates to this uh, next story. You're gonna say, "Oh, well, you're fat." That's why he assumed that. But no, this is what happened. So we were sitting at lunch. And he came and sat beside us, and I was like, hey, man, you got you to show me a trick. And he was like, okay. And he waited for a second, and he said, think of any food, any food. And I was like, all right. I was like, I was, I was like, all right, I got you. And I thought about a donut. So he's looking at me. I'm just sitting there, like, smiling all smug, like, bro, there's no, you're, like, there's no fucking way. There's no possibility you're going to know this. He looks at me and he's like, does it have sprinkles? I was like, no. And I wasn't thinking about a donut with sprinkles. And he was like, hmm. And he said, it's a pastry. And I was like, yeah. And he said, it's a donut. I was like, dude, what the fuck? Like, dude, I was, there was no way. There's no explanation for that. So explain that to me. Somebody, uh, that's you do that. you dude, watch your dark your eyes with someone with a donut. Yeah, like, you thinking about that donut, dude. I mean, tell me the last time you had a donut in a high school cafeteria. Actually, a lot. Oh, we all went to Camden. Y'all was privileged, bro. I we had no donuts, bro. We had we had like the little frozen little icy pops. That's what we had. Things was good though. We did it. I just went and got donuts <laughs> a lot. <laughs> But no, like, explain that to me. Like, a dude in high school can read my fucking mind. You think Chris Angel can't levitate your ass? I, I, I'm not sure. It's, you can read your mind, just guess. But dude, it could have been anything. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, there's... Fat, that's why you assume donuts. See, I knew you were going to say that, but... <laughs> like, it's, that's crazy, man. There's no God. possible way of that. There's, there's no real evident fact that he was able to do that. Hey, you know that little, you know those little balls that have the four buttons on the front. It's called Twenty Questions. Have you ever played that? Yeah, but that 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 asks you more than fucking four questions. That's why it's called Twenty <laughs> Questions. Yeah, I can ask you twenty but, fucking questions and figure just, something out too. Bit, like, he just somehow got it right when he said, "Does it have sprinkles?" But I told him no. Do it again with him, like, and then he said. Him? The, is it a pastry? And you said, yeah. And what is like the most common pastry? He's not gonna no, freaking not. say. He's not gonna say freaking. Uh, you know, eclair cake. Or <laughs> yeah, I know. But what are the odds that that's what he says? Like, hey Tanner, he'd Tanner, be like, hey, think, uh, think of a vegetable right now. Don't okay. say it out loud. Think right. of a vegetable. Gotcha. All right, you got that in your head? Yep. It's in your head. All right. Yep. I want you to visualize that vegetable. Okay. Yep. All right. Now look at your hand. What the fuck? All right, all right. Look, follow with me. All right. Oh my this god. fits in your hand, right? Uh, s somewhat. Maybe. Right. It'll it'll fit in your hand. Somewhat. Okay. It's it's got a long point at the end of it. Uh, possibly. It's a carrot, isn't it? No. <laughs> what is it? See, you're not Chris Angel, bro. You don't have the magic. You don't have he it. Probably changed his answer. He's like, yeah. No, it was an eggplant, bro. Like, come on. Eggplant. Did eggplant don't have a point at the end of it? 
I said possibly like the stem. If the stem was on it, then it would have a it'd have a pointy end. He got that needle dig game plan. But no, let me tell you. Whenever any magician is telling me like something, I just I'm sitting there like, dude, I'm there's no way I'm about to fuck it. I'm about to fuck his whole trick up. He ain't getting me. And they always do. And I'm like, dude, y'all are fucking demons. Like, get out of my face. Like, y'all sold y'all soul, and I, I don't know how to do it. And people back in the day used to get burned for what you fucking do. And now, now you're in L, you're in Vegas making millions because you can fly. Dude, they can't fly. Dude, I beg to differ. Dude, by the way, you got me on the career thing. You got, got you on the what? The carrot thing. <laughs> See, it, but yeah. Well, that's, the thing is, that's, that's the average thing people go to. Like, like when you say pick I, a card. I actually, a when you first started, I was like, Tanner, <laughs> don't pick carrot. He's going to get you. <laughs> and then I started to do it, and I, like, by the end of it, and I'm like, yeah, it's a freaking carrot. Because <laughs> it, it, it's based off of, like, you know, you kind of guide people to that conclusion. I well, yeah, you're not. Banana, but you got like those. Vegetable. You got those psychics, those like psychic people who are like, all right, I'm gonna sit in this room full of ninety people, and I'm gonna be like, did somebody lose a loved one? Did somebody lose a loved one? And obviously, somebody's gonna be like, yeah, I did. And they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, okay, they're gonna be like, okay, that uh, I, I'm hearing a sign. It was a, it was a man, right? And like that's probably the most nerve wracking one because there's a fifty fifty fucking shot. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. and if they say no, they just go to the person right beside them. And they're like, is it from you? Is there a connection? Am I getting a connection yeah. across the room? And I'm like, bro, y'all fucking believe this. But Chris Angel's walking down his fucking hotel. Maybe, dude. <laughs> maybe <laughs> these visual effects go along. I need it. I need an invite. Just got mind free. <laughs> I did. I did, bro. I'm, t- I'm telling you. Whatever, y'all laugh. No, I mean, like, I understand what you're saying. He's just saying, like, what, like, how, what did they have to do to film this trick? And, like, he's like, I know, you like, you know it's fake, but, like, all the crap that they had to go through to make that. But everything that you, like, see is, is, like, insane. But, like, everything that you're watching, it's like, dude, I'm looking for any little fuck up. And it's like, obviously, they are on on the final cut, though. Yeah, yeah, obviously, they're going to do a good job doing it, but even just with imagination, it's like, I don't get that. How? Like, well, so like what did they do? That, they'll do? They'll do the audience takes, right? They'll, they'll have their audience and everything, and if anything got messed up, they'll just retake it without the audience. Or, like, they'll just take a shot of the audience being like, oh, dude, yeah, that was awesome, to, like, a different trick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then put it on a fake one. All right, well, how about this? So, the dude gave a bitch a quarter, and she signed it. And then, he's, and then he swallowed it, and then he used the force and drug it down his left arm. And you can see it. And then he cut his arm and pulled the quarter out. That's not an illusion, bro. That's fucking what, what demonic the shit. Was the- Either way, dude, like... But what another thing I'm getting is just like, dude, if he if everything that he's like supposedly doing live is such bullshit, like he's like in the middle of like a club in L.A. with like famous people, with like famous rappers and like all these like famous people in L.A. You would think somebody would have slipped by now and been like, hey, you know this it, dude's fake as it's fuck. It's a multi-million dollar enterprise. No one's gonna no fuck that up. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's real. He's real. He's he's, he's what I mean, he's you see. Person, what yeah. you see is what you get. Is what he says, and I fucking believe it. 